righty, it's Chris Puggett yeah, here with Trevor Smith. We're final here for there the really Shadow Run Finals the between Final Boss and Pure. Final Boss beat Pure in the winner's bracket finals 2-0. to zero. So we're going into game three in this best of seven. Yeah, and, and so we got that we had the lead up from before. Two matches that, that absolutely went completely in the favor of Final Boss. Especially I think that second one with yeah, the 6-0. Yeah, 12, 12 maps and basically only giving up one map to uh, Final Boss. Uh, to Pure, rather. Yeah, excuse me, to Pure, to giving it up. That It was an absolute shellacking. I, I really, I, I couldn't believe how badly Final Boss uh, beat them. And, and I think Pure's going to have to come out and just change everything up. They're going to have to try completely brand new, and we're already underway here. We've got a tree up already, and Puckett, where are we? What's up so far? Right now we're watching Walsh. He is the troll for Final Boss. Walsh leads the charges, like we talked about, with the Wizard Bracket Finals. Now, Walsh and EXT are going to be the big players for Final Boss here. Going huge with the kills mostly, but you'll see a lot of reses out of Ogre 2. And even one eye, the human picks up a lot of reses and he picks up a lot of rifle headshots. Yeah, I mean, we were talking earlier about uh, how these how this team plays together. And EXT is really that guy that they, they kind of put out by himself. He's got, he knows the game really, really well. He's able to do a lot of different things for him. And I think he's the guy that they look at to, to do, go make plays for him. And the other guys really have those roles, like we talked about. Walshy with the... the you know, playing the troll, able to be aggressive, really attack. The other two guys working on the reses, helping out in, in different areas, and doing some sniping. We saw one eye doing some amazing sniping. I think he's really a strong player for him. Absolutely. And right now we have the artifact in the hands of Final Boss. It's EXT went down low. He's using it as enhanced vision, calling out where the opponents are to his teammates. Final Boss went very passively. They grabbed the artifact. Now it's back on their base. They have a tree set up. They're going to camp and force this pure team to charge them. Well, and, and talk a little bit about that strategy of using the enhanced vision with the, the actual item, with the artifact there. That's, a, that's an interesting, because they can't afford it at this point. It's only the first round, but being able to get that artifact and use it as almost like a free money to a certain extent. That's right, and it also forces the other team to come after. Because exactly. if you're holding the artifact at the end of the round, you win of how many players are alive. And one thing we noticed about this first matchup is both of these teams play very passively. They're quite the opposite from the team they faced earlier in the tournament who really like to be aggressive against them, and these teams like to be very passive. And I think the team that forces the other team to be aggressive is going to win. You know, basically dictate the tempo to them and force them to be aggressive. And, and so far, Final Boss of the Artifact is able to do that. That's right. And here's one thing we haven't talked about. I'm not able to see all four of Final Boss players' screens, but we have a rifle in the hands of Walshy and in the hands of One Eye. So we these go. guys have two guns in this first round, and I don't think I've seen any for Pure. So nice aggressive play here on the hall side here on the left side of the map, looking at it from the other point of view. Uh, we're looking at it from the other way. We, earlier in the tournament, we were looking at the other side, so it looked like it was on the right. Now we're on the left side here, this hallway, and we got a tree up and the artifact there uh, within the hands of Walshy. And you can see all those red dots mean opponents. He's just trying to get that artifact back to his team. He's moving back so that they can get a res. Olby tries to come in wow. behind. He takes him down, but Ogre 2 picks up a kill. The res is up on Walshy. He needs to back out of the way of that. Oh, and nice job. Now he has the artifact. He's trying to beat down the troll with it. That was Redeemer with it, the troll there. That's right. And Redeemer, the troll, forced to back out and jump out. But he kills Walshy. And Lineage Pure wins the first round here. We talked about, you know, Lineage. Uh, excuse me. We talked about how uh, the guys for Pure were going to be forced into the aggressive there. And that's not normally their, their favorite play style. But they played extremely well there. They allowed themselves to organize around Redeemer, the troll, allow him to come in. And he really was the focal point of that attack. That's one of the best attacks I've seen by Pure in this tournament. They've got to play like that throughout this matchup against uh, Final Boss if they're going to have any chance of coming back from that 2-0 deficit. And that's right. While the three members charged the elevator bank, the left side of the map here, the last one, Oldby, came around behind everyone yeah, nice and picked flank up two work. kills. He killed Walshy and he also took down It, it really two. looks like something we hadn't seen out of Pure. This is a, one of the first few strategies we've seen. We were talking about that before. Not a lot of strategy showing up, but you know what? It's championship time. It's coming out. And here it is, the first ever Shadowrun Championship Finals here on the Major League Gaming Pro Circuit. Walshy watching this. He's watching the right side here while it looks like EXT is going to move across Skybridge. We talked about he's flanking very a little bit. aggressively while One Eye and Ogre 2 are going to sit back with Walshy back at their base. Yeah, it looked like Obi was spotting on the left, so we got a little one-on-one -on -one going on between EXT and Obi on that Skybridge side of the map. 
the rest of the team, the, all three of the other guys, are kind of head-to-head -head here in this main area of the map right here by the tree that you see on the main screen. And once again, Final Boss going for the artifact early on here. Final Boss has teleports with Wall Sheet, or I'm sorry, with EXT and Ogre 2. Both of these guys have teleport and resurrect. They're the elves on the team, the fastest players. And we see Walshy taking down Olby, who tried to escape. But great pistol accuracy there from the giant troll Walshy. Now you see Final Boss is forcing them to do the exact same thing they did last round. But this time, I, they're not getting snuck up on from behind. Yeah, I really think it's a good strategy by Final Boss. It may not have worked in that first round, but stra strategically it was a smart move. They just need to keep working on this. And now, as you can see, EXT is leading the charge with the artifact. They are forcing this pure team to just follow them into a trap where they have rifles and pistols waiting for them. Yeah, they have. They've drawn one guy in here. He's coming around. And there Kirax he is. moves in, picks up a kill on EXT while she gets the nades off. The troll, Redeemer, charging across the bridge after one eye, the human, and it's Walshy versus He's Chilax really hurt, right too. Really hurt right now. Chilax and going for the melee beatdown. Walshy just back in the Where is his teammates? Him. EXT picked up a kill. Walshy goes down. He gets the quick re-res here from EXT now. Now, the I think Ogre 2 is at the top of this res chain. He picked up EXT after, he's, after he was knocked out, and now Walshy versus Redeemer. One eye helping out, finishing the kills. Great play by Final Boss. They grabbed the artifact, took it back in the base, forced Pure to chase him down. It was a little bit sloppy from what we saw there, yeah. but they did win the round. I mean, basically, they were falling back there across the sky bridge, and Walshy was left alone on the sky bridge to face three guys. But the key was they had the rest Game of the teammates on. against him, so they were able to take out that one guy and then come in and support And now Walshy. check this out. All of Walshy's teammates gave them... His, their money this round while she was able to buy wide reflex strangle and teleport wow as well as a rifle and so I think a in other words, just wait and watch as while she charges the hell out of them <laughs> yes yes they loaded up their troll the common strat online I haven't seen it really no used really too they much I don't think anyone really knows how this strategy is gonna play out so this is gonna be a trial run for them I mean we have not seen a, a team really try to load up a player yet in this tournament so let's see if this how this works out. Now, in the games I played with Ogre 2 and Walsh Online, we often do load up the troll, but we did it our first round. You know, we just gave him yep. $6,000 to start well, off. We're looking at They're doing it in right round now. three. Yeah. So, it, we did see Redeemer had teleport already in that second round. Walsh now with equal advantage going into this. But we have Chillax who has teleport, enhanced vision. He's calling out the final boss locations for Pure. Well, it looks like Avenged is just rocking the teleport resurrect. He's going to stay back. He's going to be the last member alive who will just keep his teammates up. Right now, both teams playing pretty fast lead to start here. Redeemer moves in. He's getting grenades thrown at him. Walsh is pushing in, throwing Strangle. Now, Strangle. Oh, nice. Yes, he gets this troll stuck in the Strangle. He he he's Olby. moving in on Olby. Olby, but Olby put some heavy damage on him right there. Walsh in red bar. Just treed up now. He's but, got a team. Oh, and look at him shoot through the tree. Walshy taking down Old Beat. The three of them moved in. It was One Eye, Ogre Two, and Walshy. Now they're going to push all the way in aggressively on Redeemer, the last member, and One Eye with that rifle. I, I, I really think the strangle was the key there. I mean, he was able. Walshy was able to throw that, push the troll back, who was Redeemer.